Hi everyone, it's Mayor Brock from Trade and thank you for joining my live trading session where you'll be able to watch my live charts and my live PL, which I believe is the best way to learn trading. Market just about to open, 0.5% gap up. Plenty of links right here below to join my live trading room or my live platform, the same platform I trade, which is the Colmex Pro platform. So thank you for joining again and let me welcome my trading room member and start the session right now. Hi traders, happy to be here. Summer traveling is over. I'm back to trading. Welcome our traders right here in our live trading room. And of course, those of you who are joining us in YouTube, appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that like button for What's us. MRNA this morning? MRNA is down today 3%, quite interesting. I guess you're following it, Scott. I am. I'm looking for a short this morning, as I'm sure you are too. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just wondering what's going to happen with the market because the S&P currently starts up with 0.5% gap up. NASDAQ starts up to 0.5%. MRNA just uh, moved to a new low. It's too early for me to join. Also watching Lulu, which is very strong today, up 7%. Looks like it may continue moving up. Tesla started with a gap down today. However, as you can see, it's moving up, probably because of the direction of the market. Nvidia started relatively weak, although the market's up 0.5%. Nvidia is down 0.4. So should be interesting. Let's wait and watch. Traders, I don't really trust the market, although we're gapping up 0.5%, I don't really trust the market. We've been coming down recently and of course the situation in the Middle East. So, who knows? Let's wait and see. Oh wow, mRNA, I just saw that, Scott. It may give us a chance to short it. It's also a bit spready. Possibly under 95. What do you say about that, Scott? Yeah, I'm going to take it under 96 uh, mRNA now. I'll post it here. I think I'll wait until 95. I want to make sure it's coming down. I'll sell you my shares. There. And I'm not so sure. <laughs> I want to participate. I'm... Anyway, I'm reducing my size dramatically right now uh, so just in case i'm going to join it oh i did not okay i'm joining now i'm shorting now under 95 mrna i'm short stops going to be over the highs one and a half dollar stop loss almost two dollars actually See, let's hope we see the lows now again. That would be nice. It's weak. It's down 4%. So this could be just a shakeout. This could be just a shakeout. Those who were shorting it earlier could have been shaken out once it moved up. These are one minute candles and if you watch this one minute candle you can see that the volume was just 57,000 shares. So in 57,000 shares it spiked up several points. The lower, the lower the share size the more you shouldn't trust it. So far it looks okay but still looking for direction. Again it's relatively weak down more than four percent also please remember it is uh, monday morning and on monday mornings we do tend to change direction after around 30 minutes or so so don't trust the market although it's moving up i want to short uh, coin under 77 
Bitcoin is going to be a one dollar stop loss, one dollar target. Try to move higher several times. It failed so far. It failed. It touched under the lows. If it's going to come down under seventy-seven, I think it's going to continue moving down under the lows. Second five-minute candle in the S&P, and so far I don't see the same move, same interesting move that we had during the first five-minute candle. Could be looking at a reversal here. TTD is very weak. It's down two percent today. Fell down rather strong on Friday. This could be a continuation. I'm kind of interested. Guys, I'm shorting TTD right here under seventy-eight thirty. short. Second five minute candle in the S&P is red, which again could indicate of a reversal. I'm watching a coin for a short, as I mentioned earlier, under 77. About to short coin soon. Now I'm short coin. This candle we're watching now in the S&P should be the decisive candle. Right now it's uh, red, not much, just small red. But if it's going to turn green and move over the highs, then we will continue the uptrend. I suspect we're not supposed to do that, but we'll see about that soon. Coin just reached my target. I'm getting ready for a partial. Just over a point. Then he signed for pullback. I'll take a partial in coin. Now took a partial in coin. TTD is doing very well. I'm looking for a breakdown under the lows. Definitely have a reversal candle in the S&P. The lows in TTD is 77.50. Look at the number of buyers, a lot of buyers at the 77.50, which is okay. Now we broke down, good. Sold at 77.50. You would expect some buyers at the lows. The lows is always a support. Not always, but very likely to be. I'm getting ready to take a partial in TTD. Tennis sign of a pullback. Now took a partial in TTD. Okay, here comes Mar now. Finally touching under the lows. I'm getting ready to take a partial, taking partial right now. And just 100 shares left. And as you can see, I'm up just over $4,000. And with my open trades in coin. $600, $200 in TTD, another $200 in MANA, so just over $5,000. That's not bad for only 20 minutes of trading. I picked up three stocks and as you can see, the market uh, tried to move higher and failed. And I was really expecting it to fail because the overall trend is down. Now, I'm not sure about the continuation, but definitely looking for the market to try and close the gap. That's that was my strategy today, to look for stocks which I believe were overpriced, like TTD, Marna. Look at Marna continues to come down now, down more than 6%. Uh, take a look at uh, the daily of Marna. And as you can see, it's a big breakdown over here. Take a look at the daily of TTD. Uh, it came down very strong on Friday, so it's a continuation. That wasn't very, very hard. And of course, coin, which just continues to come down because it was, in my opinion, overpriced. So again, thank you for watching this uh, video. Uh, it's been a good start for my week. Please hit that like button if you're watching me on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe. There's plenty of links like below this video if you want to subscribe to my trading room where I call my 
trades live each and every day. And if you want to trade the same platform I do, it's a column export platform. You'll find the link below. Just start with the demo because trading is extremely hard. Most traders do lose money at the beginning. Most of them do. So be careful. Take it easy. Thank you. And I'll see you in my next video.